AMD cards are so badly tuned out of the box that if you spend just 10 minutes changing a few settings, you will look like a genius. And probably I will look like I know what I'm doing by doing a simple guide about them. So if you have an RX 9070 XT, make sure you go ahead and undervolt it because the gains are gonna be massive. I'm talking more performance, lower temperature, lower noise and lower power consumption all at the same time in a matter of literally 10 minutes. So welcome back at the Modern PSUs and here we are with yet another undervolting guide. This is also an overclocking guide because on modern AMD GPUs the power slider is the only thing separating an undervolt from an overclock as we will discuss in a few seconds and this guide is going to be good for every single custom model out there. It doesn't matter if you have a very cheap model or if you have a very expensive model. It doesn't matter which brand your card is from. It can be MSI, ASUS, Gigabyte, I have a power color card here today and it also doesn't matter if it is the 9060 XT 8 gigabytes or 16 gigabytes. Now I purposefully chose the worst model I could find in terms of both VRAM buffer and cooler. So what I have here today is an RX 9060 XT power color Reaper 8 gigabytes, a card I would never buy for myself. But even on this card we can do a nice 100 volt and make it a little bit less bad. So with that said, let's go into Windows and let's start tweaking. But before, the only thing I ask you guys is at the end of the video, if the guide is gonna be helpful for you, I want a like and a sub. But just at the end, if the video works, if it doesn't work, just drop a comment and tell me I don't know what I'm doing, okay? Let's go. And the first thing you want to do is hit the Windows key and type out Adrenaline Software to open up AMD software. You then wanna navigate all the way to Performance and then go into tuning. Now, once you're into tuning, you want to, to not touch your CPU if you have one, and here go on your GPU tuning on custom. Now, you want to unlock your GPU tuning, and you want to leave your max frequency offset at stock, and we'll discuss this one later, and go on to your voltage offset. So you want to put a nice minus 60 over here. You then want to unlock power tuning, and do a nice minus 10. Now, if you're doing this just for efficiency, so to gain a little bit of performance, just a tiny bit, but more importantly to gain quietness, lower power draw, etc., and you don't wanna think about too much about what you're doing, you can just copy these two things and you're already done. So here's how you do it. You apply changes and then you go save profile. You wanna save your profile on your desktop, call it, for example, undervolt, and save it. So if you lose it, you can just restore it. However, this is a very basic undervolt and we can do a lot more if you guys choose to stay. So the next thing is going to be our VRAM tuning. So if we enable this, we can change our memory clock. And the more important than changing our memory clock is changing our timings. In some games, this, this does a big difference. So you wanna put fast timings. Now, everything I'm showing you guys, you need to test in game and make sure your card can do. I'm gonna give you some safe, settings, but you still need to test it. Memory, this is an important step because some 9060s XTs, very different from the 9070 XTs, they can't overclock. I've had one card which was only doing 2550 fully stable, which is literally terrible. So if you want to be extra safe, just do fast timings and 2550. And this is like if you had the worst card. For anything else you need to test, I'm finding a decently binned card can do 2750, which is around 10% performance improvement. And a very good card is gonna do 2800. I honestly haven't seen anything more than 2800 fully stable. Back on the voltage offset, in case we want to make this better, we can actually go lower. So the bigger this number negatively, the better your GPU is gonna run. And I've had some cards go crazy. So this card undervolts a lot better than the bigger counterpart. So even the worst card they've had can do minus 60 stable. Whereas with 9070 XT, sometimes you have to do minus 40 if you were really unlucky, right? Here, I never encountered that. But what I do have encountered is cards doing 140 fully stable, which is genuinely crazy. It gives you a massive performance boost. So you want to play around with this, test it out. What I recommend is minus 60 if you don't want to think about it. And if you want to think about it just a little bit, minus 80 will work for most people. But genuinely, a lot of them can do minus 100. So I, I would spend the time to test it out, test it in games and see if it's stable, okay? This is not all, because we can actually get 
a lot more performance by playing with the power limit. So if we are doing an undervolt, I think minus 10 is the perfect sweet spot. You should not go lower in power limit. You should also go lower in voltage. I would not do this because you're going to cap your GPU. However, if you do want maximum possible performance, you want to do this and go plus 10 instead of minus 10. This, with the same settings everywhere else, is the only thing separating a good undervolt from a good overclock. So for a good overclock, you need to find a stable undervolt and simply unlock the power slider. It's crazy, but that's how it is. Now, if you're doing an actual overclock, what you want to do is also just uh, increase the ceiling for the max frequency offset. So I would increase it by 300 megahertz generally. I think this is safe for me. And uh, you're, you can also just skip this step, but uh, if you're after a proper overclock, I would do it. Your card may boost higher. Again, you need to test it well for stability. And this is really it. I recommend if you want to know a bit more in depth about these settings, also double check with my RX 970 XT or 9070 under volting guide because they're very similar. But this one is, of course, slightly different. Now, as usual, you want to apply changes, save the settings as, as we've done before once you find your stable point. And with that said, the guide is over. So if you watched the video this far, drop a like and subscribe, drop a comment. Tell me how your undervolt went so we can share the settings and see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.